Siemens NX Customer Defaults. In Customer Defaults, you can adapt Siemens NX exactly to your needs. Learn how to save your settings without changing the NX installation. This also allows you to test settings without any problems. Or manage settings for the entire team, but still allow exceptions for various settings. All this is possible with a small start script, without any programming knowledge. This video is the first part of a short series on administration and settings in Siemens NX. In the first part, the function of environment variables is explained and you create a new variable for testing. Finally, you learn how to create your first start script. It only has four lines, but they are powerful. As always, you will learn the meaning of the lines, step by step. And with that, welcome to tips and tricks on Learn NX. What are environment variables? Environment variables make it possible to give a name to a storage location or a setting on the computer. Environment variables defined in Windows are then available centrally to all programs. This really makes programming easier because you don't have to work with specific, fixed paths and settings, but just use the variable names. To view or change the central variables of Windows, enter ENV in the Windows search field and open the system properties. Then click on environment variables at the bottom. Now you can see the system variables at the bottom and the user variables at the top. You need administrator rights to change the system variables, but you can change the user variables and create new ones. Try the following test. Create a folder, then a subfolder, and then a sub-subfolder. The names must not contain any spaces. Copy the path. Now click on New in the user variables and create a variable with the typical name, test123. Copy the path into the value field. Your first environment variable is now ready and can be used anywhere. To complete the test, open Windows Explorer again and enter your first environment variable in the title bar at the top. Type a percent sign before and after the variable and press the enter key. And just like that, you're in the folder. NX also works with environment variables. For example, this is the variable for the storage location of NX on my computer. First, Windows reads the system variables, then the user variables. This makes it possible to overwrite the system variables with the user variables. But also with a small start script, environment variables can be created and existing ones temporarily overwritten. Batch file is start script. Don't worry, you don't need any programming skills or additional programs. Create a folder anywhere, for example with the name NX settings. Create a text file in it and save it. Create the subfolder defaults. Open the properties of the text file and change the file extension from txt to bat. You can now edit the file with the editor. Use set to create your first environment variable. It is NX custom dire. The name must not contain a space. The variable has this value. This string reads the location of your file, allowing you to not only change the file name and folder name, but also the location of the folder. 
NX Custom Dyer is therefore the name for your storage location, and you can now refer to it. With the next environment variable, you specify the storage location for your customer defaults. You can use the variable you just created for this. As in the first test, you must add a percent sign before and after it. To refer to the previously created subfolder defaults, the variable NX Custom Dyer must be extended with defaults. This is followed by the name of the file in which the settings are saved. That's it. You've defined the storage location for your customer defaults. Start NX with the batch file. Now all you need to do is start NX with this batch file. Do you remember? The location of NX was entered in the environment variables under UGII base dire. In this path is a subfolder called UGII. This folder contains the exe file that starts NX. So you need to navigate to this UGII folder to start NX. To do this, create an additional variable called UGII root dire. This refers to the storage location of NX, which is defined via the variable UGII base dire. Now all you have to do is add the name of the desired subfolder to the variable. And with start, you can execute the start file ugraph.exe in the previously defined path. Save the batch file and start it for the first time by double clicking on it. Space is in the path. Oh, an error message. Program cannot be found. The reason is as follows. There is a space in the storage path for the exe file. The start command in our small batch file breaks after the space. Open the batch file again and change the path for UGII root dire as follows. First write two apostrophes, then a space, and then put the path in apostrophes. After saving, you can now start the batch file without errors and also start NX. Check the start script. Okay, that works, but check whether the storage location for customer defaults has actually been set. Open the log file under File, Help. Search for the environment variable UGII local user defaults. It is found, which means that the variables have been read. One more test, open customer defaults. Activate the display reference sets folder option for the part navigator. We have now made the first change to the customer defaults. Click OK to save the settings. After saving, two files will automatically be created in your defaults folder. You have now saved your initial settings without changing the NX installation. This is because when the batch file is started, the system variables, as well as the user variables in Windows, are only temporarily supplemented or even overwritten. When you exit NX and restart the small batch file, the changed settings will be read from your customer defaults. And the changed setting for the part navigator has been applied.
Create another shortcut for the start script and save it on your desktop. You can give the link a name. You can also change the icon via properties, shortcut. This lays the foundation for setting up much more in NX, load options, roles, special thread and drill diameters, all templates, and so on. Central settings for the team are also possible, which still allow variations for individual workstations. If you would like to know more about this, write to me in the comments, and I will explore this topic in more depth in my next videos. Until next time, and thank you for your membership, which makes videos like this possible in the first place. And if you really liked this tip, click on like and subscribe, because that's the applause for the creator.